because stylistically speaking as well, it was going to be curious how is Madden going to fit the bill of Dojo, who is more supportive and more of a sure. clutch player, whereas Madden's always been known for his individual prowess. He's a sharp tool. But this is clear that they have some very well-rounded individuals in this team that they have just picked up piece after piece. And Artu over there, I know that he will be watching his boys. And the last Finnish representative of the squad is the coach, Saw. Let's see if this international team can take us to a third nuke. That's the third and final if we do need it. But 16 rounds need to go in the favor events if we want to get there. Jacob said Dihar is a man to watch out for here. Well, he's on the lurk towards mid as the other four are heading towards B. But locking this one down is three players from Heroic. Yeah, Tassus is just going to be keeping his head low. Jumping for that info. He's actually holding the slither on his jump so he couldn't get any info. And that's something. Turns around, Cadian is in the box, and that's a free frag, look at that. The first click out of all three members of this defense, and it's solid, oh. but they're back in it. Hades, Diha, frag up a storm, and suddenly a two on two established. If they jump out the window, they can run him down. It's hard to bodyguard, but he gets it done. On the low HP, Diha has to play for his life, and he takes one away. Stown catches a Glock bullet to the dome, 1v2 goes 1v1, he knows where you are, and dicing with death. Diha clutches up for ends. The pride of Poland right there, getting a massive round on the board. That is huge right there from the two of them. They are the bookends of this team, and they book the pistol round in the favor of Ents. What a way to turn that one around. Bro, it was... 2v5. Look at that, look at that. Three frags, first clicks, and then Hades does this, so Diha can do that. Two out of him. And the third for good measure out of Diha. Lovely play. I mean, really hanging on by a thread, but Ents get the start they needed. What do we hear from uh, our analyst desk is you really want to see the pistols and conversions if you wanted to have hope for Heroic 2-0. Well, already, that's denied. At least on the first pistol. Let's see how the conversions go. It is a force buy this time from Heroic. Let's see what Kadian can identify with this scout post up because he's out of the play here, right? Unless they go towards B, he's not going to see a whole lot. Might get an opportunity with Diha dropping those nades. It signifies, oh, aggression coming <coughs> Kadian's way. But Kadian gets the move on, of course. Ants in the pants can't sit still for very long, Mr. Kadian, as he does pivot on back to more of a passive position. Playing around connector is Tessus. And to chip on in to help out B will be Refresh, who's currently finding himself over towards that vent room. There's still two players poking and prodding over towards A here for N. So as they execute B, it could all be a bit of a ruse. D hut and Snappy. Ah. Just Snappy. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I think they've seen enough. Hoping to catch Shush and already he's goosh down low off that Galil. And she had the helmet on. Kept him alive, and yeah, not for much longer. Tess is still on the stairs. Press CT. Cadian already scarpering over to provide and render aid. 35, they have to go away now. Oh, it's a big find. Stout's actually been caught out in between the two smokes, and Caden's going to take his place. Refresh already threatening on Snappy's mid hold, so Madden's got a lot to deal with. Tasked with getting into the site and the combination. A one two punch. 5 7 into a scout tag, and Caden keeps hitting him. That's a big round out of the in game leader on the scout. They'll find some rifles as well, an AK for good measure, but Caden with three on the force buy. Yeah, I probably feel they were worth that one right there after that 2v5 pistol snatch away from Snappy and his boys, but back into the force. Likely to see Ents purchase on up here. Beautiful opener there from Caden. He pivoted back just in time. And the wombo Ooh, combo yes. with Tessus there made life nice and easy. As the Deagles come out, five of which, this is going to come down to the individuals, and Deha has a chance, takes a shot, and the back turn from Cadian will avoid any damage. Madden as well held at bay, and Refresh, he wants to push on up. He wants to look for a bit of a fight here to establish some mid control alongside of Stown, who is in that window room. They do have a potent crossfire to deal with top mid and underpass. Blocking off the palace position throughout all of this, and trying to find some control on the map here is Ents. Two through lower. Window smoke deployed. Incendiary dipped on out, and Refresh is going to mantle up onto the catwalk position and get on out of dodge before any problems do start to unravel. So this one has at least avoided any early threats from Ents, but a minute on the clock and the... Ah, never mind. The Deagles were starting a hard press on A. Coming up, Ram shot needs to be hit. Too good. Shush grabs another one back here, and Heroica looking good to find the 2-1 start. Yeah, what a dream for Heroica to immediately kind of get back into the swing of things. 
It's not streaky so far. Uh, let's not forget trading blows in the first two. And these deagles do seem like they're just not quite going to have found what they needed to get the ball rolling. Tessus confirms our suspicions. And now it's just the last two of them. Spinks and Deha. Not too shabby on a deeg. <laughs> Would need a couple of quick clicks. And what? There's one of them. Oh! There's two of them. Deha gets a lot of dam damage downrange. Refresh over the top. A hard adjustment for Spinks, but damn, Deha, where'd you find those? Pulls two out of the void. Heroic, though, the fact that they kept three alive. We uh, we know a magic number there, and we'll see this again. The second is gorgeous. Beautiful Lovely stuff. Play. Yeah, it just gets us excited. That's really about it. The flow and effects of that we won't see. Oh, maybe we will. I keep forgetting. It's <laughs> snappy. I keep going and go by the norm, by the book, the type of counter strike that everybody else plays. But no, it's a force bite again. Some tech nines, a Galil. And this is where you can dig yourself a bit of an early grave if you are Ent. If you can't stay competitive in a round like this, you are going to allow Heroic to have a bit of a buffer zone. So a plant and a couple of kills is essential in a buy like this. Yeah, and in buys like this was how the last round 16 was inscribed next to Heroic's name. Yeah. I don't know about you, like I, I'm still thinking about it. It'd be hard to, you'd be hard pressed to ask the players not to have it in the back of their minds that a fantastic call off the back of a timeout exists, likely advising them, as Devilwalk made sure we remembered. Yeah, the coaches are some of the more under-celebrated members of the cast. Yeah, certainly. And players don't need to compliment their coach in every interview they give, you know? The, 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 there is certain teams where they don't. And that's more of an indication than not. Wow, Dink Exchange, better weapon though for the job is Refresh, Shush as well, and support to deny this contest in mid. and. One by one, they trickle in and trickle down. Another round for Heroic and everyone alive. They even get to upgrade their sidearms. That's the nightmare scenario right there if you are Ents, right? Not doing any damage whatsoever on a force by like that. Now you will have to concede what will be an eco with some lighter upgrades. You can see those meat cleavers of Deagles being equipped onto three so far. I think Hades is probably going to want to be a little bit more honest in that department if he wants to get out of the AWP in future rounds. Lost bonus into the next is going to be finding ourselves at the 2900 mark. He's just going to buy a Zeus. So let's see if Hades can have some fun with that. P250 in the hands of Deha here. So an upgrade for everybody of a variety. And mid control, gifted on over. For not now. The, yeah, not the three-man stance by any means. And Kadian into vent room, dips on back. He was spotted. He was. May draw too much attention and enable that connector player in stone. Madden just on the edge of that smoke. Oh, oh, he's heard him. He's right next to him. And there's two targets in front. Shush good for the frag. Yeah, thank you very much, Stown. Those sound cues, beta Madden forward. Shush is there to make sure it doesn't get out of control. And things are starting to fall into place now. Is Oh, a Hades, Zeus. he doesn't want the Zeus. No, well, thank Hades, you. Hades, why don't you want the Zeus? Well, he's going to try and win a window fight with a Glock. And he's got the bomb, so absolutely zero fun. For anyone right now, uh, even Ents fans around the world, as we'll just be Deha, who has some room. I'd say he has more than some room. He has an entire bomb site to his own. Sip of the coffee. Tidy up the mess. Take down Tessus. Just all part of the course. Gets himself a Galil and decides that no one can have that. Yeah, that's kind of housekeeping for everybody. I don't think anybody wants that weapon by choice. Takes it out of circulation. Oh, oh he's so filthy. Deha, you dirtbag! Good God, first the Deeg, he's even pre far <laughs> Stal might have accidentally put his head in that vice as well. Good God. <laughs> that was a lovely second shot, wasn't it? Okay, well, a bit of damage. Better yeah. than the previous force buy, and now the buy is coming on through. That was oh, fun. Deha's wow. given us a couple of moments here. The I... pistol round where he wins the two on five, and then two rounds with some scorches on the pistolas. Bit of a pistol specialist here. I think Deha is... Or was this is the thing at keeping track of stats? I think it was the highest rated pistol player, and Bit was the second. And Navi have that crazy. I think they were were uh, nine and one in pistol rounds over five maps to play. That is mad. Ninety percent conversion with a hundred percent conversion in second rounds for Navi. But they're yeah. already in the playoffs. We can talk about them later. Yeah, put that on your pocket. We'll come back to that. Two with an aggressive setup. You can see Heroic are constantly throwing new looks. They want to keep Ents guessing. Admittedly, this would be the perfect call to counter it if they can just get Madden. 
set up in con. Obviously, there's a bit of contest here. You got Madden jiggled out and uh, not looking at Cadian. Mid defended. Reaction is on to A. Refresh will play for the retake. So you've got the space now. The smokes are up. This is where they have to use this time. You've got 20 seconds. Plan. You should get the bomb down, get burrowed into some post plants. Already Heroic are actually starting to contest. Look at this from Refresh. Making a lot of steps. Trying to keep him guessing. Hades is going for something a bit too cheeky and punished immediately. Look, as the bomb goes down, they've lost flank. three. A flank for good measure. Snappy not ready. And one of the hardest teams to keep track of. It's heroic. Sphinx already concedes the round as he's revealed. A safe defuse and cover. Easy to provide. This is being very careful with his defuse angle. Just edging forward uh, ever closer here. And they want to try and take this one away. Jumping on in. And they will take the fight. But that'll give Sphinx his first two kills. Got to be careful about allowing Sphinx to wear on up. And the damage that Dihar did in the previous shore, it hasn't shattered the economy of Heroic yet, but it's chipping away. Can you just chip away, chip away, chip away. But Ants do need to start posting something. Now it's not an 8-0 streak out of Heroic, but it's a 5-1 start on Enter's map choice. We'll be forcing Saw into a tactical timeout to confer and have a conversation here. They can buy back in. Lost bonuses in play. The AKs are back on out. But that one right there was dealt with with ease. They had no underwards ticket. It was quite a heavy mid lean. I did hear some excitement yesterday coming out of uh, the analysts regarding the approach that NIP were having. Uh, we got to see something similar when uh, FaZe were operating on Mirage as well, where it's a bit more of a, a different look into the mid default. They're throwing like a top mid ramp smoke right they do the top cat smoke they do a top and then the, instead of smoking window they peer over the top of that to take some fights i believe that uh, nip were doing something a little bit similar see if teams want to quickly adopt that or want to use that because it's chopping and changing some of the approaches there's the super map, like, geeky smoke rops is throwing as well that covers both windows and b apps from spawn oh yeah yeah he's, he, rops is real sweaty isn't he i mean like that is a crazy powerful smoke and this is a crazy powerful boost they get Tessis up and across it's another new look. Yeah, but every round, you poor Ents, you know, like they just don't know what, what's safe. They constantly have to keep second guessing. Had this been the previous round, Dihir would be susceptible to the two-man underpass. Now they've got the two-man apps. They can rotate off after establishing control. They parked him there. And so just constantly winning this battle for map supremacy. Madden's close here, undetected. This is a dream for Madden. He actually might have the jump on Stown. For once, he's found a gap. And we'll get that opening frag. Ents now need to build upon it. First brick is set. Tessus spotted as well. And Sphinx has been cut out of the round by Shush. Madden is going into a very powerful position, but may not be aware of a re refresh so close. Bomb sitting back towards B right now, at least top middle. 45 seconds can reroute plenty of times. And if Snappy goes down without a frag, it's big problems now. Yeah, big problems now. As they do turn their attention towards B, Refresh should find this kill. Madden with the second in the round. Now it's on Tessus. Oh, and he draws the fire. Gets the info. Diha and Hades again. It's the same sight, the same two. This Polish duo. For national pride and for Ents, a necessary round. Got to build off that opening frag. Madden was able to provide a double in total. Hard retake here. Not going to be easy and unlikely given the fight. Here is covered by Hades. And that is a must win duel. Cadian might want to preserve the AWP now, albeit with lots of cash in the coffers. Gets a frag on the way out the door. Can't go for it. The kids are all down towards the short or window position right now. So even if you wanted to jump on in, it would just mean that Hades has to dance with him. Cadian does not have enough time and holding onto this AWP is the best option he has right here, right now. So confirm the second and working into this half now, ends, but it's not going to be easy, right? You see how difficult some of these situations are, especially if Heroic keep throwing these more team-based, funky maneuvers your way. That one right there, they just got caught by the information play of Diha there, and then they had to backpedal. They didn't stick to their guns. They didn't want to continue the push. They actually smoked to get on out. And during all of that, that mid avenue was stifled. Now, Stown, we know that he does like a bit of a secondary orb here. He's going to be bringing it out quite early into round number eight. Another different look. Another setup deviation from Heroic. And they are setting up for something ramp early. This is interesting. You can see Snappy's already got the flash in hand. He's letting their rifles work. And just off the flash, Madden 
completely cancelled. Doesn't pull the trigger on the flashbang. Vision's restored, but his life might be taken from him at the hands of Hades. Spinks very, very susceptible to a single HE. There is not one in play. And they're just rushing the plant. This could go down uncontested, and Nade's not going to stop it. Tess is still on to Diha, though, and he is a high flyer for Ents. We're going to need some of the unlikely candidates. Snappy yet to frag. Spinks going around the world on the low HP will work. But Hades and Snappy have to keep them at bay. Kids and smokes for this. They can make this retake work heroic. They have everything they need to pull this off. Quick from Spinks. He is still going to be viable to contest. It's a default plan. Multiples <laughs> in front of him. Still most down two. Will go down, but the distraction in the round look like a certainty. It's down trying to get, close the gap. Where's that kid? It's on refresh. He tries his luck and not to be. It's three. And Snappy still yet to frag. But leaves victorious. That's a nice one there. Yeah, yet to get a kill, but wins out the uh, clutch of the one-on-one -on -one against Down right there. The AWP conserved and, or preserved in this situation as there is enough money to go for yet another buy here from Heroic. But Ents are now whittling down the finances here and bringing themselves back into the game. A great one there from Spinks. Very effective on low HP, right? The fact he gets two out of that whole situation. And keep in mind, he's gone around the world. The bomb isn't even planted on the triple box. It's on the opposite side of default box. So sure, he would have been able to push up through connector and take a fight towards that position, but it wasn't one that he could just deny from catwalk. So having to be active and showing his worth right here as Heroic are going to take a little bit of a tactical timeout here to have a chit-chat between Exist the coach KD in the in-game leader, and the same can be had on the other side. So this is starting to shape up to be a decent T-half for Ents now. Both teams can remain threatening it around like this. KD can drop Tessus here, but maybe he wants to conserve cash for uh, an AWP in future rounds. So yeah, Tessus will just be left with a 5-7. No, there you go. He dropped him on the way out. All right, fair enough. They made it work. I thought that maybe Kadian wanted to keep that cash for a future orb, but now Tessus has a wasted $500 5-7. Might not be a problem. Just keeping track of the little details here. As we set up for what should be another A play. Two smokes towards mid. One cat, one window. Just and all five ready to jive. Just rolling back the years. I mean, AXX off spawn. When was the last time this was a viable strategy? Well, there's two tucked in towards site here. Kaden to oversee business with the AWP, and the X Factor is refresh. He needs to get multiple kills from this position. They're going to bait him on in. Drops the smoke to contest around. Spinks from the palace side. Making it look like a retake here. Refresh needs to find something. Yeah, and this is his moment, and already two down, three with a one mag. He has won the round. They strike in unison, down and refresh, repel the invaders. That's exactly what you want. If you're going to put a player in a position like that, the entire option is to allow them to make a, a way into the site, think that things are clear, think that they're playing a retake setup, and then strike in unison. Use refresh's position to catch them off guard, and when they turn their attention to deal with him, you push through the smokes, you take those fights, and you close it down for the sixth heroic round now, the Danes. Keeping a three-round lead, but guess what? Ents are about to bite back in a big way. Straight towards A one more time. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now, I know it didn't work, but surely Heroic won't go for the same type of play, and that is the right call. Snappy calling the bluff of Kadia now. His troops are setting up their util, and the site not as fortified this time round. Yeah, and look at the four nades, four smokes sailing through the sky. What can you do in response? Heroic. Turn around, Stown the only one to try and find a way through. Look at this wall to enable and facilitate a plant. D has to plant now default. And investing all of their nades and it's enabled the plant. Now they've got to hold on to it, Chad. And this is the hard part. No utility to do so here, but guess who has a lot heroic with everything they could wish for. Smokes, flashes, HGs to make it work. And the fight's going their way too. Three more kills required. Madden's trying his luck now, but it requires Spinks to hold. A couple of kills out of Spinks. Compulsory nades bring him down low. Just got to survive. Hades does reveal himself from the ramp. That's great to hopefully bait for Madden on this round the world Hasn't maneuver. Nice find. It's only the one they're defusing. Go and load this. Doesn't get refreshed and still holds his nerve for the seventh. Okay, Ents, they can get into these sites, but they cannot leave with the round. Oh, that one was crazy right there. An extra nade under the head of Sphinx. It could have been his undoing. He went unchecked over towards that ninja box right there. It's so crazy to me. The, the tight, I, we used to call that Titan Execute. Quite literally, we used to run that back in my heyday. Seven years ago. Seven years ago, that Execute was when it was in vogue right there. To see it getting pulled out now, to see it getting pulled out 
in the last six months shows you that, uh, yeah, you can bring back some old strats out of the grave here. I mean, Snappy's been doing this a long, old time, pre-CSGO. I mean, chasing this as a professional career since 2008. You know, I think Carrigan is 2007. He's gotten beat by a year. Now, 2008 and Snappy has not had a playoff berth at a major. So this is his team, the best team that he has ever had, the in highest in the world he has ever been with a squad like this. Very skilled individuals around him and trying to lead them to that stage here in Antwerp. The plant's great. It does get them with a buy back. Snappy yet to get a kill, and you'd love to get your in-game leader activated now. He's one of these players who can drop 30 frags, but at the moment, very shy of that mark. This could be the changing of the tune. If he does get a kill, and they go back to A again. Stubborn, stubborn indeed. And speaks this time. Will decapitate KD, and that's the opening kill in favor of Ents as they're going to continue their jaunt forward. The smokes are in the air. Here they come. That's not an easy duel. And this is very cheeky. He's been checked. Two frags to the good. Ents have space. Have frags. Spray in the box this time. No refresh. Hiding in plain sight, and it Save. seems like Heroic have decided to give him this one. Okay, well, they just continue to ram their head against this brick wall, but they are starting to find some cracks. They are starting to break on through. Four now confirmed as the bomb about 35 seconds left on the clock. It's a, mon uh, sorry, it's a major debut from Madden from the most recent addition to the team last time round. The four of these individuals with Dota, as we touched on, were at the major, but... They're having their second crack at it with an upgrade in the firepower department. And a major debutant here who was starting to find some impact over there on overpass. Looking to do the same here on Mirage. Yeah, and I remember seeing Madden. He was called upon, wasn't he? I seem to remember I saw him alone in an Ents jersey eating his dinners every day. I think he showed up to stand in for Snappy. Yeah, one of the events we did towards the tail end of last year in uh, Stockholm. It was, yeah, and, winter, uh, Snappy I think. was unable to travel. That's obviously when uh, we, we had a few more restrictions as far as travel went, and, and Snappy was unable to make it. Madden was called on in. He went on over. He played one day of Counter-Strike. And uh, then Snappy was fortunately able to get on that plane and make his way on over. But there must have been something about the way that Madden plied himself within that team that the squad liked because so they picked him on up. I mean, to show up and only get the one day of play, they didn't practice with him afterwards. I mean, when Snappy shows up, Snappy's going to be playing and scrimming. So to turn enough heads to eventually end up on the roster that now is firmly in the top five in the world. Can they secure a third map in this battle and race for playoffs? They're up against a good adversary in Heroic, but Spinks has actually caught down. Hard fight to win. Two Hard in a row from Provide him as well. an opening from Palace. Yeah, he ought not only caught Katie in the previous, this time long range spray into Stown. They're doubling up in dark. And understandably, how often have they been hit with these A takes? It looks like they're actually just dumping all their util onto Snappy and asking him to facilitate. But if Madden walks in to be first, it's a full commit. Nades are in their hands. Careful, Diha. He has to try and save them now. Damage inflicted onto Shush. Do they commit? Snappy's response to all, and he will take his first two frags in quick succession. Cadian spotted out on CT, and now the duel is lost on B. It is a two on two, but you know it's only Cadian on A. Molotov off. Flash for good measure. Buying space to get the bomb down. Cadian can contest, and on the way back, oh. he hits it. Snappy silence. Spinks to come up clutch. Two. Regrouping. In traditional heroic fashion, he opts for sandwich. But will it be heroic to make the meal of it? Man advantage, grouped up, Sphinx. About to be clear. Shadow betrays, needs another, can't find it. And that's heroic playing it by the book. An eighth secure, the man advantage used and plied to enable an eighth. They will win out the half here at round 12. Beautiful stuff right there. Uh, good work to get back into that one. Looking good for Ents. Spinks unable to pull up the clutch right there. Committed towards that sandwich position. And once it was noted, Tassus just had to close it on down. And look, I say just, it's not easy to be trading in a situation like that. But uh, that's the opener on just down. This is the Snappy double. They lined up perfectly for him. And this is the important one. Because if Snappy gets across and is able to fortify himself in that position, then it becomes real issues for Heroic on the way back in. So a big find from KD in there as we are back into... The buy, the double orbs brought back out here as the vent boost in play. Sure should be up and he could take a fight here quickly, but he can also slow down the jaunt of Madden who might want to make his way quickly up short. 
And another opening from Spinks. And he's just walking out on his own here. A is his playground right now. Three rounds, three openings from Spinks over towards the A side. And still Ents haven't been able to build off of, off of them every time. Oh, this is a bit more of a change up in their approach right here. They aren't just being stubborn and continuing to slam their head in towards this A bomb site. But it guess what? It looks like Heroic are reading this. A classic KD and call three looking for info now over towards Short and the head. Surely spotted Madden didn't see him. Now he strikes, but where's that AWP? Where's the support? Nothing for Hades in the form of a response. Tess is going looking. Hades is good for it. It's just Cadian. Just refresh the tip of the head. Snappy taps. Is Cadian looking to save here? Or is he thinking it's B right now? I guess the finances aren't great for Heroic here, so save. The most likely option on the agenda. If Hades posts up from short over towards B, that means that Cadian and his position will be stuck over towards market they don't know exactly where he is but he will be able to catch them if he does push on forward snappy starting to hunt this one down lost bonus into the next round of play only 1400 to remove this orb would mean a lot the x factor into the next round would be gone spam kadian knows they're coming or at least they were they mm. had a look and apparently that's enough they don't want to give anything over here yeah it would have been a real prize wouldn't it taking that awp out I felt firsthand against Cadian on LAN when he saved an AWP into the next round. He punished uh, us really, really quite harshly. He had a, a double collat round. Oh. On Cobble. Oh. Yeah. Double collat. So what are we talking? He's peeking the doors. No, to the... no. Chuddy B was a fan of fast Counter-Strike back in the day. He was boosted uh, up behind the statue and uh, oh. got two doubles onto the platform. Oh. Yeah. Oh, heart, right? Heart wrenching. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we still won the map. Right? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Cobble was your best map. Yeah, I really enjoyed that map. And, uh, Rest Ents, in peace, Cobble. Ents think uh, Mirage is their best map. It's the map they've won twice and the best of one so far in the Legend stage. So, right now, undefeated in the Legend stage on Mirage. They're taking their third time out. Going to have a discussion here of how they can pull this half home. And they're in a really good position to do so because Heroic have to force buy, right? I said 1,400 loss bonus. When you have 1,400 loss bonus, you, you're force buying. You, you have to. You don't really have a choice, right? So they're going to do exactly that. They'll get one M4 out. They'll have the retained AWP in the hands of Cadian and pistols again. Now, if you missed overpass, that 16-14 scoreline round exactly like this is how Heroic were able to just get across the line on their CT sides. Are they going to do it to Ents again? Are they going to break the hearts here of this international squad? Decoy over towards Window. That early sound cue, surely very telling. Smoke's in the sky. They are coming to have a look at the, the apartments. If a flash of Tessus is seen, oh, Katie, they're actually going to have to try and find mid frags here. And he fired off the shot. They know where he is. He's being run down. Does get around the corner before the smokes do fade. Oh, seen enough, have Ents. Rotating back quite quickly here. Diha's just going to have a look on his lonesome. It needs to be very, very careful right now because Kadian's coming on over. Oh, Kadian. He's doing a lot with this orb. He'll move around now. Madden is, however, between... Two ferns, takes down Tessus and has the opportunity to lock down this rope. Are they going through? What the fresh? Yeah, meets the AK of Madden. Cadian's here though. They've rotated again into the right position, have heroic. A recurring theme, Chad, for this one. So at least they're in the right place. And a good shot out of Shush puts them once again on notice. This oh is scary. my god, Shush! He's taken down Sphinx. Two clicks of the D to make a round out of this and denied now as it's a triple out of Madden. But the Deegs of both Deha and Shush have dropped our jaws on Mirage alone. Closing the gap to just a two-round deficit could be won considering the finances of Heroic. That was a cobbled together by... Well, they do it again, right? And it'll be similar scenes here. This time around, lacking an AWP and lacking an M4. But they'll have the trusty MP9 in the hands of Shush. A couple of five sevens and a couple of deagles for good measure. Five smokes. Another eight seven half. Yeah. Uh, this time it has been a bit more of a back and forth affair. Not those crazy long streaks. Great flash. Oh, so good. Both of them are so blind. He actually, while flashed, manages to recover and drop the flames to stop that from spiraling. Oh, they're all here in mid right now. They're ready to fight. Heroic, want a biff? Yeah, we've seen this before, haven't we? 
run him down. Long range on that MP9. And oh, it's just off on the spray. Spinks cannot afford to die. Cannot afford to die. The nade brings him down to 39. It's a race to be. Refresh is there. Spotted out now and down. Hades knows his presence short. So that's confirmed. Nice but Tessus has hit a banger there. So now they will not only have the man advantage for this, but Tessus from the apps early keeps this very high pressure. Madden and Hades to try and keep that one round game. Weapons advantage and some util available. No kit. Hades just focused on the apartments. They have to go. Yeah, they can. Madden revealed. Tracks the other. They're closing now. And a good shot out of Hades. He's done more than you could ask. Eight to seven. Ents tie things up in a highly competitive game of Mirage. Trying to force a third. Overpass, it was a full 30 rounds, and it seems we're going in a similar direction, Chad. I know Heroic didn't win that round, but I love how responsive they are, right? When you think about how that one lines on up, what was one of the common themes that we saw from Ents? A, execute. So they allow this situation to go on where they throw the flash, Shush goes forward for information and sees them just posted up looking for a fight. When they do that, they understand that it isn't going to be an A, execute, right? You'd be normally have more players back lining up utility, right? This time around, they go, oh, it's more likely a default. So they all come back and collapse on middle, and then they fight and swarm middle as a unit and try to isolate Jules against Ent, and they were able to do that but the buy was so brittle they weren't able to get in and Ent, they salvage another half and they're looking good to take us to that third map decider of Nuke if they could shut things down now on their defensive side Julius for Snappy Sphinx is oh, not live that's a false start in business so we will get a restart quite quickly here this is where it's going to get uh, quite tough for Heroic I think because now you're going to have to break through all these individuals' events, and we have seen patches of brilliance from all of them. Not quite sure what the tech issue is, but I'm sure we'll get it solved very, very quickly here. Yeah, 70 rounds, definitely not to be snuffed at. And considering the way in which Heroic, I believe they won that pistol. No, no they lost memory. the 2v5, oh, and that's right. That's right, yeah, sorry. To the it was the force by that was even better, though. Hades and Deha, and then they whipped out the scout. Cadian gets three. And immediately just started running away with the lead, didn't they? It was a, well, a run of five before we saw Ents back on the board. So 5-1 was the score into 5-3, into 7-3, 7-4, 8-5, 8-7. Just a uh, bit of an update here going on. At B stream right now, G2 versus Outsiders in is in its third map. So if you'd like to check that one out, twitch.tv slash pgo underscore csgo for all that action. One of those two teams will be eliminated at the end of the series. We are live. Lining up something geeky as Tessus. Watch that one sail through the sky to help these B-boys in. Sphinx has the HE though. Big on a pistol if you can get it right. Oh, and he's just pre-fire and snappy blind as a bat. Sprays down two on the Julies. Sphinx does just have to slow him down. Survival. The name of the game, swung on now, Oof. quick out of the Cadian Glock. So now the plant, not even the priority. They just want to take space. Look at him. He's in. It's a smoke on the fade. They're not going to expect this, Chad. They're not going to expect this. And Cadian's coming round if they don't finish off by Stown. Madden, booked, tapped, and Heroic already set for success to take this pistol. Trading blows, trading pistols on Mirage. Unless Hades has his way, three... Hiding in plain sight. Taking engagements as a unit makes sense. And yeah, he's running out of time. Running out of options. Nice cool. tap onto the first. And now it's just a question of his utility or rather what he can get away with. Take another one down with him. They're all on the site with him. Everyone's going to go down if they're not careful. And there you have Heroic 9. They'll take the uh, opening round of their T campaign. Okay, well, making amends for the pistol round in the first half right there. Snappy does get two, but this is a three on five falling in the favor of Heroic right there. So brilliant stuff from them. And they will be getting the bio on the board early. But of course, Ents are going to be forced back into their own. That was a snappy double out of the Julies. Perfect work. He was on the ADAD. Able to munch them away there, but a ballsy play from Cadian. And this one here, I was surprised to see him taking his time on that duel. And he does get the necessary kills required, and they 
Two Oops. force ends into a force bite. Diha didn't stick the landing right there, but it doesn't work. You always pretend like underpass was the play, and if he is on out, can get an opening kill. This one's back on. Tessa's into the trade, and fast up short they go. Yeah, they're charging, Chad. This actually could be very quick into the Deagle of Snappy. Something spotted close to him, and Hades is going to miss his first opportunity to soften him up for these pistols. You can see the bouncing SMG just keeping the spray going. Constantly suppressed in the round. I can't believe it's already over. Heroic, no issues in converting their second round. Yeah, it looked like it could have been a problem because there's so many bodies responding to that, but they were ready for the heads-up counter-strike. They flattened the ends in that one, and now they're just six rounds away from securing this Series 2-0. And surely Snappy's not crazy enough to go for a force bar on this ET side. This has to be them relenting and taking a bit of a save round here. Madden Spinks into Deagles already. Snappy with a P250. Deha's going to get himself the $700 hand cannon as well. And it's just Hades onto that economical. 2900 is the lost bonus into the next. Always happy to operate in the lighter by variety RNs. Blocks the smoke. Lovely work. Deal with a one two step. Doesn't manage to live on, but Madden at least holding them here at the gate. Initially. Yeah, if that smoke had actually come on through and created a gap and we found ourselves into something a little bit close, like a three on three or three on four or something along those lines where maybe there's enough end members to be threatening alive, then you could go, yeah, big thumbs up to Deha there, but just unfortunate that they scout so quickly. And it has become a feature of Mirage specifically, hasn't it? There's a lot of kind of smokes that you people can block. We know the connector player has been getting good at blocking those. Yeah, smokes and Mirage, hot topic. As oh, yeah, time. what am I doing? <laughs> What's your favorite dance move, Chad? What's your go-to? The one-two step. It is? I knew it would be. Yeah. We're talking like a box, the box step. I was just thinking of a Missy Elliott song. Oh. Everybody, one-two step. That, that's a reference that will go over the heads of many. I apologize to all of our viewers. You have to reference someone like um, Lil Xan. That's their more their cup of tea. Degenerate teenagers. I, 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 do they like the Lil Zan, music? Not our fans, aren't they? Not, I was just oh, saying okay. Lil Zan is a degenerate. All right, yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Woof, God. That was close. Saved. Yeah. Clipped and shipped. Oh, dear. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Let's see if uh, we can do some shipping right now of this uh, CT half. Yeah, we've got some uh, teenagers, but they're uh, already achieving more than most of us. Ever will. Ever will. Yeah, it's amazing what Ents and Heroic are up to today. Do we get more to play with here? Looks like D is going to extend play with a nice one onto refresh. That will send them packing out of mid and already starting to regroup back towards A. There's still two on A. So look at this. Madden just standing behind the triple box has the overwatch of Hades AWP here. And he is actually going to batten down the hatches, a smoke and a Molotov to work with here as part of this defense. So if it is high in the sky with Util right now out of Heroic, Madden will be able to slow it with Util of his own. And well, d still hanging around Connector. Let's see how this works out. See if... Okay, so that flash was quite truly just to understand if there was an AWP on site, right? Deep flash, they hear an AWP shot, and now they know what type of execute they can work with. Oh, that's geeky. I see what you're saying. So a different setup, knowing that they do have to contend with the AWP of Hades. And it does also pull out that reactionary smoke. There's not many left in that department there's Ooh, one well timed when well, there's one that's with a, a gap. huge gap Ooh, careful now if anyone goes looking or just walking off the flash here push. he comes and reacts madden one and done nice shot out of hades through the corpse into the head of shush heroic running out of opportunities now running out of chances it has to be a and over the top of the smoke, it's going to be struggling as Cadian, just the one. Solid haul out of there. Ensign react to that. Building off of that opening frag. Refresh goes down pretty simple at the start, thanks to Deha. But the regroup A is handled. Plenty of money right now for a heroic buy, so they're just going to piece this one together here. No timeout taken, no discussions to be had, just buying straight back in. So both teams are going to have almost everything they want. Plenty of rifles on the board, orps for both primary offers of KD and Hades kits to play with right now for Ents. But winning consecutive rounds is more important for them because they are one map loss away from having to stomach a 2-2 draw tomorrow. Look at this from KD and Pepper the step. Very quick about this. He is being spotted on out right now. Hades has found that opening kill when there's a trade on back. Hades is down, down. Finishes him on off. Oh, it's a big one back from Spinks. He just goes, slides back into the fight. 10 HP in it. And oh my lord, Cadian tries a Hail Mary. Snappy just about got there in time. Tried to take the space on window. 
Tempest tries his luck on the fade and does dunk one. Just about gets away. Perhaps not ready for rare. Fresh! Never mind. Diha was good for it all. And a 1v3 with 10 HP. He's gone too. And it's going to be closing that gap. Oh. Just not able to grab the secondary. Yeah, I, I, look, that's the thing. As long as you get Hades, his big green, that's all that matters right here. Just get Hades' his up. Make sure that he can be tidy with that big green because I think that he can be extremely effective on a map like this. 13 kills to his name right now. Leading the pack is Madden, 16. 12 for Sphinx. And his Sphinx on your screen. Great work from him. And handling this. So it was quite pacey, right? Heroic were trying to biff in mid, biff over towards A, take as much room as they could. But now they're going to have to be on a bit of a lighter buy. Yeah, already Hades has taken one down. Tessa swatted away. D does the same. And everyone's won their duel. Only that stout rifle. He had to get something out of it, didn't he? And it's just the one. Oh, do they want to buy right now? Trish has 3.3. Tessa has 3.7. So a conversation to be had, and well, you can see that is the case by the timeout. But this is good. It, it feels like Ents are handling this now, right? I, I know that they're still trailing right now by one round, but these two defensive rounds consecutively have been well handled. Yeah, and they're trailing significantly. For a one-round deficit, they're trailing significantly in the frag department. You can see, look at that, four members of Rogue, 17 frags. Rare to see a team sync up to that extent, but you can see there is a large discrepancy in that from the first half. Ooh, Kadian into the AWP. Mm. Refresh into an AK. So they are going to buy behind this. A MAC-10, actually. So Refresh is going to take the MAC-10 out of all of this. He's actually gifted an AK over. Yeah, well, he saw his MAC-10 try and make space short. That was at least kept by Deha. Big round of play, then. Yeah, it's curious, right? MAC-10 and an AWP in the same round. So you think MAC-10 fast, you think AWP slow, default heavy, looking for picks, and looking for picks is... Cadian's AWP is going to signify early. Just taking a shot as well. Let's uh, Ents know what they're up against here. Shush looking to play on the extremity right now, lurking the A apartment's position while the other four are leaning more over towards the B side of the map. You can see stalled out passively top mid is Tessus with the oversight of Cadian's AWP. They might want to... Try and get them moving here. Like throw out the, the execute B smoke. See if you can force a rotation events right now because they have a, a very solid defense set on up. Well, the smoke deployed towards connected will buy them a bit more buffer over towards middle. But as we can see with the radar top left of the screen, there's no worries right now at all. Heroic went from being very pacey, very on your face to very slow and maybe very methodical as window has been smoked. Okay, bit of space. What comes next? Hades talking a lot. And a chance on to test. That's immediate response from Cadian. In the next frame, he pulls the trigger. Just, just fired off a shot. Noted in Palace. Heavy mid from Heroic. And that's with the bomb as well. It's Refresh's responsibility. Charging through now. The smoke to obscure the short play. Diha just sprays his mag through the smoke. Good for it. Spinks meets Cadian again. And with 10 seconds, they are starting to plan. Cancel now. And that's a defense. Diha, a triple kill as they come to his bomb site again. They might have to start changing their plans. Because Diha's consistently foiling them. Yeah, Jacob spoke about on the desk. Diha in this position and how he can be a force to be reckoned with. And he's living up to that praise. 16 kills for him in total now. He's going to join Hades on that mark. Oh, my Lord. Just checking over. I had a glance over at the B stream. Cover your ears and eyes if you're one of those. If not, I mean, a reminder, this is win, one win, two losses. The loser's home. And not in the playoffs. G2 outside is going the distance, and it is just tit for tap. Dust 2, that third map, I believe. Whew. Great map for outsiders here to pull an upset victory on the previous major grand finalists. Hey, exec. Taking a page out of Snappy's book here. Yeah, a lot of smokes in the sky now. Let's see how Diha handles business. It's his bomb site for a reason. One and a half. Madden's there as well in the feed. He can spot another on the bows. Run down, but Diha, regardless of the smoke, regardless of the flash, is good for a frag. Kadian is trying to be a rat about it. Yeah, very cheeky. Going to guarantee the plan here, Kadian. He's in the site. He's getting the bomb down. And Shush is dead, so now they know exactly where that play is coming on through. But it's Kadian Mirage with a P250. I don't think so. 
Nah, he's never done anything like that before. There's absolutely zero precedent for him doing anything with this pistol against four fully bought up opponents. Thank you, Snappy and Happy with that bomb plan on me. Ah, uh, yeah, look, if you're going to go for a play like that, I can understand. That's ripping a, a page out of the old school strap book right there. You guys go <laughs> rush the other side and I'll plan. We've Feels all seen good. that one before. Hey, everyone gets extra cash so they can get all of their goodies, all of their gadgets and gizmos. Well, Ents have taken the lead up to 12. Uh, Heroic just trailed by one, but if you take a look at the slew right now, it has been five consecutive rounds here. That third map, if we do need it, once again, highlighted at the top of your screen, Nuke, the decider. Snappy versus Cadian, Danish in-game leaders on Nuke. Their home turf, where the Danes have been known to do their absolute best work. Maybe if you forget about that Copenhagen Flames game against FaZe earlier. Hold on. This is going to be over quickly. Look how quick the frags come through. There were so many members there, and they're going to keep fighting. D has dumped in Util. They're ready for any engagement should it come their way. D thinks better of it. Smoked off. Hiding out in the window. They got all of their util still, Chad. You get so many frags without having to throw too much. They can go anywhere with this. And Diha, just as it fades, so does the chances of finding the main body of the assault. Problems now, it's Diha and Madden. Still Madden, oh. still pre-fire, still alive somehow. Some way, some shape and form. Madden tagged down even further. It's coming through, it's coming through, it's coming through. Gets a chance oh. to take down Shush as well. Three frags from Madden. In the face of adversity to extend their lead and edge closer to that third map. They know where he is. Yeah. Kit present for both. Smoke as well. Madden's even going up and over. That's exactly what's down. Be aiming and he's knocked the first down. Hades trying to be smart about it. Holding his spray. Stout assumes it's a fake and he's just holding it because he's a pro. <laughs> Hades clutches up without a bullet fired. That's great work. The power of a kit, the power of a smoke combined. Ents maintain their spree. It's six rounds now on the trot. Two defuses back to back. Oh, it's down right there. You're going to feel real hard done by. You don't even get an opportunity to play that round out. And think how this one kicked on off. We're getting the highlights right now from Ents. This is but crazy. it started with two opening kills for Heroic in middle. It was looking bleak for Ents. And then they're in a one-on-two situation. Just sit the defuse. You can see Madden get fired up. Back into a buy. Plant through again. Max lost bonus. Sure, going to break through. Yeah, they need an answer. It's Ents that have the luxury now of constantly rejigging your CT setups. It's You want to keep that heroic side just unable to pinpoint as to what they have to skirt around. How did Madden get so much... So much down over towards that jungle position. Yeah, 22 I mean, kills in total now as they try and ward away another attack. Tessa's top mid, but the rest walking out ramp. Yeah, and it's perfect, actually. It's only going to be house kept by Madden. Playing it very safe. He's just a flash of him there. You can see Cadian. It's going to lose his life. Snappy one and done. Done. But aggressive from Madden, using that smoke he's dropped to peek around and keep them caged. Nice from Shush as well. Heroic may have found something. Something to hold on to. Something substantial into round 25. Still to clear out mid and Spinks with a crucial frag. With Tessus gone, we've got a still a level 3v3. Can change quickly. They're rotating through, ready to acknowledge the commitment. Diha knows where they are. Concedes the plant. And on the way back, Hades does not slip up. Refresh is gone. Stamp back on the AWB. It's a big headshot out of Shush. And Heroic will take it thanks to the two of them. Stown and Shush. The two names that be at the tip of your tongue. Deliver when it matters most. Oh, that's a big round to break on through there with because w when you look at the finances right now, they are whittling ends down. And this is a conversation that I always like to have with the CT side. It's great to be able to get into a game and give yourself a lead like this. But when the scoreline is close, if you lose a couple of consecutive rounds late, your finances are broken and it's going to be harder to defend on the CT side with lower buys. The T's get to dictate the pace on low buys. They get to get away with a couple of executes. But here, look, they're already light on as far as you two. And that right there is an opening. Refresh in combination with Shush. Take down Madden. He's been such a hero. 22 kills leading the charge right now for Rents. And the rest of them have to get it done without him. Katie is so confident they're not going to re-peak. 
just turns his back, stares at the flames, and they are on their way back. Making sure the utility's in the right place. Spinks very far forward. They have a lot of mid control, right? Because Hades is orping underpass. So if they try and walk underpass, Hades should get this kill. How diligent is... Oh, the timing. The timing for Stown right here. Yeah, but if he does still strike on the and then addresses the potential of underpass, surely now he'll post up for it. So Stout about to walk on in to his death. Unless Dia's frag pulls Hades away and no one's going to be addressing that underpass position. Doesn't matter when Sphinx is going to have time to turn around. Well, just as Heroic started to celebrate, just as they break Ence's spree, that's immediately put them back in the dirt. That was with an opening pick as well. So the last couple of rounds, Rogue have been doing better in that department, but are just having a hard time breaking through here. This is a fantastic defense from Entz now. The third timeout call for Heroic. Last few opportunities right now to try and get this one done in a 2-0 fashion. Otherwise, we will be going through to the third map, and it's fitting. These two teams have definitely been battling hard. A close matchup today, and on your screen right now, you can see the B-Stream update. Outsiders taking on G2. If you want to see how that one concludes, head on over to twitch.tv slash PGO underscore CSGO. You can also search it on the YouTubes and watch it in 4K. You can rewind. All that good stuff. But speaking of good stuff, I'm sure we have more to come our way as Cadian again is into the AWP. He has 20 kills to his name. It's not like he's been a non-issue in this matchup. His team might have to call on him right now to find them a way on in. Because it's not like, they, as I said, it's not like they're, they're lacking openings, but they're... Yeah, it's not going to be with the orb. It's going to have to be a great call. That, that's, that's what it comes down to right now for Cadian. Right? Even if he gets a bunch of kills, five, it needs to be the call. Warning shot. <laughs> An early util dump out refresh. You can see he wants to force something. But had to do it relatively conservatively. This is different from Madden, seeing him up close and personal towards the ramp, and it might be the perfect position if they do execute A. If they don't throw a close flash, he should get at least one and slow down their push in towards the site. Might even hear a couple of nades being pinned here from this forward position. He's given it up. Doesn't want to be the reason for another opening. Oh, we spotted them now, and just the smoke on the ramp is going to slow them down. They'll have to come through Palace first. Madden trying to do it all. It does go one and done. It's Hades Orp on the site. Deha as well chips away. Another from Hades on this defense. Katie and Zorp trying to clutch up. Hades is having absolutely none of it. It's just a, taking it in turns. If you can't get through Madden, if you can't get through Deha, you have to get through Hades. And each one of them taking it in turns in the spotlight. Three kills this time added to the Hades total. All right, well, it looks like Ents have done enough here. They've denied the plant. They made sure that bomb couldn't go down. Max lost burn to shore. It's been a conversation throughout here for Heroic. They're going to buy into this one. Shush. All by a deagle on the way out of spawn. So they're late onto this, and they're just heading over towards A. This is feeling like it's lacking an idea or two. Cadian forward, Cadian down. This one is looking done and dusted now. Flashing over towards A. Hades has been a hero. He is blind for a moment. They have slipped on by. Never mind, Madden is here to oh. finish off business. Yeah. Stick and fork in this one. It's not done. A double out of shush. The Deeg and Nade combined. Ents were so close to standing up and getting ready for Nuke. But Heroic and Shush specifically sit them back down. This is still so difficult for Heroic to get into here. Look at the HP right now of Refresh. Five points of health remaining. Shush has been fantastic here. 23 kills for him. Snappy has removed himself from play by checking out what's going on over towards the other side of the map. He will be securing the fact it isn't B. And as Deha rounds the corner, he might just get the easiest kill of his life. Thank you very much. And one to find. And a second for good measure. Deha, the savior, nearly got a bit awkward there as we do see a third map required for a spot in the playoffs. It will now become a best of one between Ents and Heroic. This has been the closest affair we've seen in a good couple of days, Chad. Yeah, another close map, uh, another highly contested map of play, and I'm really excited to get on over to Nuke. I, I think right now out of Heroic, they're going to be feeling that like they had a few opportunities on this T side that they were unable to convert right here, but both teams picking up their map choices. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to see when a 